Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. In this section we're going to begin a discussion of some of the most fundamental concepts in all of chemistry and that is the concept of an acid. That's what we're going to talk about in this section. Strong acids and weak acids. Um, so everybody watching this has heard of an acid. You have some idea what an acid is. What we're going to do in this section is uh, kind of move away from the general idea of an acid in everyday language and start to put some real definition to what it is uh, so that we can start to use these ideas in the context of chemical reactions, right? So what you'll find is that reactions involving acids are really common in nature, they're really common in your body, and so they're really important to study. Now, what do you think an acid is, right? Everyday language, we think of an acid as something that, you know, could burn you, right? If you, if you get dropped into a vat of, you know, really hot, boiling, strong acid, you know, then it could disintegrate your body and burn you, right? That's absolutely true. But it turns out that there are weaker acids that you deal with every day. For instance, inside of a lemon, there's an acid inside of a lemon. That's what gives it that taste, right? That, that, that citrus taste to it, right? Most citrus fruits actually contain acids. There's different kinds of acids in your body that your body is using all the time. Acids are very, very common, but we need to break it down and understand what they're doing. I'm going to give you a big picture overview of the importance of an acid before we write down the definition. And by the way, you're going to have to kind of trudge through a little bit of a, this section is more of a definition section, and I hate doing that, but unfortunately, if you don't nail these definitions and really understand what it is, then later on when we do the problems, it gets harder for no reason, because this stuff is not hard. So let's take a few minutes, we'll get some definitions down. Now, uh, Acid we talked about a minute ago, we, we think of that as something that is corrosive, something that can burn you, right? Well, it turns out that the opposite of an acid is something that we're going to talk about in detail in the very next section from this one, and that's called a base. Acids and base are kind of, if you want to think of them as opposites, they're kind of opposites. When an acid and a base comes into contact with one another, they love to react, right? They love to react, and we're going to spend a lot of time in a few sections talking about these acid-base reactions, right? So in this section we're going to talk about acids, what they are, how they're formed, what defines what an acid is, and also give you examples of what an acid, what common acids are. In the next section we'll talk about bases and do the same thing. We'll define them, uh, make a listing of common bases, what makes them a base and so on, and then the following sections after that we're going to bring acids and bases together and react them and learn how to calculate what's going to happen, basically, because that's a very important part of chemistry. So, we know what an acid is from an everyday language point of view, right? Let's write down a real definition of an acid here, and I'm going to actually write it on the board, but before I do, I'll just tell you, and you can kind of have it percolating as we write it on the board. An acid is a substance which produces hydrogen ions uh, when you put it in an aqueous solution. Typically, when we talk about acids, we're talking about something you can pour, right? It's a liquid. So that's an aqueous solution. So don't forget the last couple of sections, we talked a lot about aqueous solutions. We said if you put a substance in there, like an ionic substance, into water, then it dissociates, it breaks down into ions, right? So we had lots of examples of how you put stuff in there, like sodium chloride, and it breaks apart into sodium ions and chlorine ions in the solution. Acids are nothing magical, it's just a substance that when you put it in the water it dissociates and breaks down and one of the things that it breaks down into is hydrogen ions. So instead of sodium ions in the last example and chlorine